Anyway, what do you think of these numbers? Jim? I'm. Do you know? To be quite honest, I'm amazed it's taken this long to come out because anyone. Um, who has had a dog who's female, who has been in a relationship, will say that they've probably felt like this for some time. It's really tricky, you know, not to become the eccentric old woman at the end of the road. Yes. If you think of Bridget Bardot, if you think of Doris Day, these women who, in the end, have given up on human relationships and say, I've done it. The only relationship that I trust is that relationship between me and my dog. And I do maintain that it is the only relationship that has truly unconditional love. And Pam, you're, you're the relationship expert. If you heard this before, you must have come oh, across this in you know, your time. Absolutely. And as an agony aunt, you'd think, I hear about love triangles all the time. And I'm talking partner <laughs> who loves their pet, the pet, and the partner who maybe isn't quite so keen. Those love triangles do cause a lot of problems. So I'm, I'm not surprised about the stats and underlying that there are a lot of uh, unhappy partners who think but she <laughs> puts her pet first you know what about me do you <laughs> would you Anne? i mean well, is matilda your best friend do you know the irony, she come first? Well, the irony here is she was bought for me by my ex my ex is no longer around mm -hmm. and um, the bone of contention between the two of us was the jealousy between him and my dog and in the end, my Matilda would sleep on the bed, and he would say, if she stays on the bed, I get out of the bed. What did you say? Bye-bye. <laughs>